Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. All right, let's see what we got for you today. A classic Japanese car could not miss the group. And we have another one for you. What we got for you right now is a 143 1970 Mazda Capella. Rotary Coupe. Now that it's a nice looking car. I gotta say it's starting with the color bright color with those black wheels and that chrome around it's a beast i love it and the car has a little bit of chrome around also by the tail lights got chrome in the bumpers so the car kind of blend matches good you know it's not overly chrome because even the wheels have a little bit of chrome around not too much and then to top it all the car has those sticking out Fog lights, I find it so 70s and 80s. So nice. All right, let's talk about a little bit about this car. The Mazda Capella, it was actually mostly known as the 626 in Europe, North America, and Southeast Asia. So Capella was basically a brand name, mostly, I guess, for the Japanese market. But this model started as a 1970. So this is the very first generation of the... Mazda Capella. They were as a two door. They had it, which is the one that we're looking at right now. And they also had them as a four door. There's the two door and the four door. The very first generation ran from 1970 until 1978. The second generation ran from 1978 to 1982. And then just give you a little bit more information. It kind of went up all the way to 2002. So third generation, 82 to 87. Fourth generation from 1987, 1992. Fifth generation, 1992 to 1997. And last but not least, sixth generation from 1997 until 2002. I do remember the 626 in North America, um, and it was quite popular at moments. It was a quite, especially like the 80s and the early 626, it was quite popular. I do remember them. I seen them on the road many, many times when I was younger. Unfortunately, they disappear. They are no longer anywhere to be seen. You don't see nowhere in the roads no more. You know, I guess you can only juice a car so much. No matter where they're from and how reliable they are, you cannot expect the car to last forever if you don't maintenance properly. And also, it's still, it's still a car that's already over 20 years old. You got to treat it with, with a lot of care. And you can have music because the car will let you down if you abuse it. The two door, I find them attractive. The four door was cute too. I'm talking about the 70, the one that we're looking at right now. The four door was cute also, but I think the two door was the like sportier looking one, more racy car. Talking about the engines, drum rolls. Do -do -do -do. These cars came as a 1.4, nothing big. They came as a 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, .6, and a 1.8. And had a small, this one was most likely the 1.146, which it was a Wanko Rotary. Wanko Rotary engine. So that's a cute little small engine, but I guess. If you ask me rotary engines, what they are, I know very little about them. I know very few brands came out with a rotary engine. I mentioned in past videos. Um, I remember, I think NSU was the very first one that came out with a rotary engine. And then Citroën pulled a few vehicles. But the one that really made it fa famous on the rotary engines, I think, was Mazda. They had uh, vehicles in the past, the RX-7, vehicles in the past, and this one, which is even older, the Capella, or the 626, with a rotary engine. 
that game has a four as uh, a five speed no way uh yeah four and a five speed or a three speed automatic very very cute little car i really like um as i was looking at it right now in some countries this very first generation they came out as um 616 and also 618 so you know it's um i don't know i never understood that if you ask me why every some countries have different names for their cars i find it to be one of the most to not say a bad word here ridiculous things that car brands pull out i understand sometimes the names that they give them in their home countries may that be suitable for the american market but example, the one in front of us, Capella. What is wrong with Capella worldwide? Is it some, is something offensive in some country that I may not know? Why they had to call them the 616 or the 626? I don't really understand that. That's something that I never fully understood. Make one name for the model worldwide. And everyone should accept it however it's being called. So we all re recognize it around the world. All right, guys, I'm going to let it go around a few times, and I'll be right, right back. All right, guys, so hopefully you like the car. For Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Please don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up, which I always appreciate. And don't forget to click and subscribe, which will let, when you click the bell next to the subscribe button, we'll let you know what you, when I'm posting more videos. And don't forget to Comment below. Let me know any you have any history with this car. Are you familiar with it? Have you ever drove one of these or were a passenger in one of these? The, were they sold in your country and what was it really called? Because it has different names. I would love to hear all the stories. All right, guys. Take care, take care of yourselves more than ever. And goodbye.